Hi guys, hope you're all doing well. So I'm filming another video just showing you what I do on a week on a typical weekend uh, where I've got a few plant related stuff to do. So as you can see here, you've got um, you know beautiful alocasia zebrana, I think it's called. Um, this has gone so big. I don't know if you remember, I did a video um, a few months ago. I will link it down below. And this was a very small plant, but now it has grown, gone so big. And I'm finding that the, the pot it's in is actually quite small and um, it could do with a bigger pot so that it gets to flourish and get even bigger um, if, you, if it wanted to. So I want to do that. The other thing I want to do is I've got a couple of these little house plants that I bought. I bought um, and I just want to repot them um, and just inspect the plant as well, just to make, avoid any sort of damages and dying. Um, and then I also want to show you um, this plant here again. I don't know if you remember when I bought it. It was a few months back. Got it from Columbia Road Flower Market. Um, it's a beautiful plant. I mean, when I bought it, it did have, you know, a few leaves that were browning and I was a bit worried about it, but it was again, super cheap. So I got it at the time. What I'm noticing is that it's not growing at all. So it's gonna get a chop and I'm gonna show you how to do that. So let me start with this plant here. This is a ficus um, elastica or also known as rubber plant variegated version now this has not been growing at all for me um, and i've seen this method which um, allows the growth um, essentially involves chopping off the the tip of the plant so let me do that and see if it works um, and i'm just using a kitchen knife here um, you should probably use a proper knife but this is all i've got and that's what i'm going to go with it um, so if i just maybe here simply chop the plant now it will produce white sap oh there we go now can you see the the white sap coming through so I'm gonna put this on on the side I'm gonna do the same with this one actually let me just wipe the knife I just covered in white sap um, at least I guess this gives me hope that it's not dead um, because I was a bit worried as to why it wasn't growing um, so anyways there we go another one chopped off like that so as you can see this is a beautiful oops it's leaking beautiful plant uh, I'm gonna you know do my best to keep this alive and kicking so this is another chopping uh, I've got So here I have these two uh, new shoots. I'm gonna try and propagate this in water and, and see how we go. So it's a marble table I've got here. So I'm trying to do my best to protect it. So what I'm gonna do next, I think, is um, to try and repot some of these plants um, or at least try and take it out of the nursery pot now. I'm always in two minds about this uh, and I do feel like they need to, the plants need to acclimatize before I sort of move it into an actual pot. But at the same time, I like the look of how they look in a nicer pot. So I usually can't wait and that's what I'm gonna do now. Um, also, I think in some ways it gives me an opportunity to really inspect the plant and, and see how they're doing. Right, let's start with nice and easy one here. Um, so this guy, as I had said in a recent video I did, is something that I already have. And again, I don't know if you can see at the back, I already have um, a, a plant uh, or the same plant uh, from my previous purchases. Um, but this particular one, I just got it because um, I found it to be super cheap at Tesco's, um, which is like a grocery store here in the UK. Now, as you can see, it is quite root bound. So it's probably a good thing that I am taking this off. The roots, you know, are in itself forming like a, um, a jar of its own, which um, is good, it's healthy, but you probably want to allow that root to really grow and have that space to maneuver. So um, I'm gonna place it here, which will hopefully give it that um, opportunity. So I'm gonna take all of the topsoil off. 
um, with a view to um, just tease the roots a little bit. Um, yeah, so this is what I do usually on a weekend. Um, I love doing this and as you can see I'm not even wearing gloves which for some people might be like what the hell are you doing but I really enjoy this I don't I don't know there's something so satisfying about this um, and you know now that I've been um, trying to sort of collect house plants for a good few years I really don't care unless obviously it's got some you know massive um, insects and stuff like that which again um, is kind of difficult to uh, I don't know process because I haven't come across huge insects as such but um, I have come across some spider mats and stuff like spider mites and stuff like that which I absolutely hate but sometimes you really can't do anything with it so anyways I've just sort of teased the roots a bit um, separated them so that's the plant and then I think what I'm going to do is how am I going to reach that little space here? Okay, actually I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring this guy here which actually has some soil which is why I'm reaching for this. Um, so I'm going to put some soil in here first just to sort of just to line that pot. Then what I might do is place the actual plant. Now again this pot is not as, you know, it's not hugely bigger than this. Um, and as I was saying, the only reason I'm trying to repot is so that it looks nice in its actual pot. And you can probably see that I am putting it in a pot that does not have drainage hole, which most people um, would tell you isn't the best thing to do. But, you know, this pot is nice and um, I think your allocations will do just fine with it. Um, only time will tell but, but but let's see um how we go with that so i put the plant in there first and kind of find that like perfect space and then put the soil around it um and this just allows us to place the plant nicely and and make sure it's you know in the middle um and has um enough room to spread its roots right so that's basically what I do and you know what, it doesn't help having really long nails but I think we're good. Um, okay, so then what I might do is basically just top it up with some fresh soil as well, um, just to top it. This is slightly drier as well. And I'm not going to water this plant for some time now. Um, I usually do, but I feel like, so basically two of the leaves fell out and I think it's because it was being overwatered. So I just wanna leave it alone. So there you have it. This is how I repot my plants. Um, I'm trying to push it down so that um, it gets, the roots get to spread. Okay, so this is how I do it. Um, not sure if this is the right way of doing it, but this is my way of doing it. Um, and this pot here, as you can see, is actually a um, uh, a candle. So there was a candle in here, which I obviously used up. Uh, it's from Zara Home, which I absolutely Zara Home white jasmine, which I absolutely love. So once I'm done with the candle, I would just empty it out and use it as a plant pot, which I think works very well. So that's one plant done. I'm going to put it on the side. The next one I have here is my Pelia Peppermidis, I think. Um, so with something like this, which it looks like it's been in this pot for a while, I would give it a bit of shake first so that it's easy to um, take it out. Uh, okay, now since buying this plant, I mean, it's a nice house plant. I feel like some of the leaves are falling again and which isn't always a bad sign all the time, but sometimes it does worry me because, you know, random leaves falling out um, could be a sign of some sort of root issue. Um, so let's find out. Okay, now this does seem like, oh, there we go. Okay, this is interesting. Now the roots, Oh 
a minute while I inspect this thing. I'm joking. Um, I don't know. The reason I'm looking at that closely is because feels like some of it, its roots, um, they're not as white. And again, that may not be saying anything to me other than, you know, that's how it usually is. But I was just trying to inspect it more closely just to make sure it's not rotting or anything like that. So um, but anyways, I think we're, I think we're good. Let's, let's stay positive. Uh, oh, gosh. Okay. So just the bit here, I found it was just really tough. So I'm just going to tease it out a little bit. Okay. I don't know. The root not healthy or what is it? So can't figure it out. This is a relatively new plant I've got, um, you guys. So again, do advise me if I'm not doing something right. Um, interestingly, there are lots of roots at the bottom, but here I'm not finding much root system going on. So again, I don't know if I should be worried about it or not. But anyways, let me just tease this out um, as I usually do, just teasing out all the roots oops at the bottom like so um, the soil is very barky which is probably what it prefers I don't actually know so anyways once I've done that what I tend to do then is get the pot which is from anthropology and I was eyeing this up for a very, very long time. Um, I think it's such a beautiful pot, don't you? And I think anything sort of green, I really get gravitated towards. Oops, I don't know why, um, but that seems to be the way. So now again, I'm gonna put some fresh soil at the bottom, like so. Then maybe a bit of this so that it doesn't feel like it's a completely new environment. It is having to adjust to uh, and then I'm going to see where the plant sits. Now that's probably perfect. It probably does not need more base. Um, and then once that's done, I literally fill that up. That's exactly what I'm doing. Right. And then what I tend to do with something uh, or with a pot this size is just rotate it so that I am evening out the soil around the plant. That's what I do. Okay. Again, rotate it one more time. Oh, that's interesting, isn't it? I'm seeing some white spots behind um, behind this plant. Now, I don't know exactly what it is because it's not something I've seen before. Anyways, this might need some water. Uh, again, this is a new purchase, so I'm not really sure how much what I should be giving this plant just yet. Okay. Just leave it nice and compact. Okay, so again, just putting some soil at the top. Um, just like so. Yeah, I find this process really satisfying um, and I'm sure a lot of you guys who love plant can relate to what I'm saying. Those who don't are probably freaking out right now, particularly with me holding um, soil with my hands. But anyways, let's do that. Okay, I think we're getting there. So I'm just trying to make sure it's as compact as it can be, particularly with this plant because I think the initial um, mix was quite compact um, so again I'm just topping that up and also this pot is slightly bigger than what it came in so you know just need to make sure it's got the perfect condition to flourish uh, really okay doing that um, here I think we're we'll probably done after this one Okay, so I think this one probably could do with a little bit of water, not too much, just a little bit. Um, I'll decide later on. Um, 
there you have it beautiful pelia pepper Midas in this beautiful pot okay so let me put this to the side okay so um whilst i'm doing this i also wanted to share this with you um this guy here I have no idea what I did wrong. Actually, I think I know what I did wrong. I think I overwatered this plant, but for some reason, succulents, I just don't seem to have any luck with it. It's literally turned black and I've been saving this so I can share this with you because, you know, as you start growing your collection, you almost feel like, well, I'm an expert by now. You know, I shouldn't really kill any plants, but I can guarantee you all houseplant owners kill plants on a regular basis so don't be you know scared by this this is just a natural and a normal thing there are some plants that you just can't keep alive now this this guy at one point was doing really well um i'll show you an instagram post that i did and it looks so beautiful in this another anthropology pot i've got here but I don't know what happened one day. I just saw the plant and it had like um, almost like a ring uh, around it. And it could be a disease. I don't know. But anyways, I really need to throw this guy. But I wanted to show this with you um, just to say, don't be scared. You know, this happens. You can buy another one. No biggie. Okay, let me just tidy this up a bit. Now, another thing that has been on my list for so long and I've been meaning to do is repot this guy now actually let me move this beautiful pelia to the side first okay maybe here for now um and drink some water this can be very tiring mm. right so as i was saying one of the things i have wanted to do for a long time is repot this plot okay now this has grown a lot but more recently I'm seeing that there are lots of leaf leaves that are falling down now I think this may be natural but at the same time I feel like they're falling at a rate they shouldn't be and I suspect it's because the pot is just too small for the size of this plant um, I don't know if it is the case but all I can do is you know try and move it in a bigger pot and, and see what happens so I think this is a bit of a struggle and I might need a hand with this, but let's see if I can sort of manage to do it on my own first. I guess the worst thing is the pot kind of goes bigger at the bottom, so. Okay, right. Okay, it's not as root bound as I thought it was. But, and the bottom bit is actually relatively wet. Hmm. I wonder what it is then. I, I don't know. I'm just now thinking twice about repotting this guy. Is it the fact that it is too wet at the bottom? I don't know. Because the soil is still a um, sort of tad bit moist. Um, what I might do is just ruffle. Yeah, I think I might as well move it to a bigger-ish pot. I don't know which pot though, because I think this is what I was going to put it in, and I have a feeling it might be too big. Because look, it is um, like this particular root has. I don't want to use the word rotted, but kind of seeing what I'm noticing is this is very wet in here. Probably needs a pot that can drain well. And I may have found one. I think I need someone's help with this one. I don't know, I may have just killed the plant. Anyways, I'm just inspecting the root and some of it, look, that's not a good sign, is it? I think I'm overwatering this guy. Well, not even overwatering. I think it just needs to be in a pot that has some drainage um, hole and this is not going to do the work. So I think I need to move on to plan B. Right, let me just, oops, oh my goodness. Okay, 
that here for now. Then I think I'm gonna have to do uh, and then I am going to place this guy to see how it does. Okay, I think it needs a lot more soil at the bottom. using a normal um, houseplant potting mix I don't have any preference as to what soil I use I just tend to go with you know whatever I fancy um, during that trip or whatever I see um, at that particular store okay So then I will put the plant in there and just tease it out a little bit again just to make sure it gets the opportunity to grow really. Um, once I've teased it out, I then put, um, I should take, take all of this box out, put this back in, okay. Uh, Again, just following the same formula, just making sure the plant is in the middle of it all. Oh, I'm actually sweating, guys. This duty is no joke. Um, okay. I think what I'm noticing as I'm doing this is that I was definitely overwatering this plant because you don't see the bottom of it. That's the issue I've got, right? At the top, it might look super dry, but it's not as dry as you think it is. So anyways, now I'm just gonna go around. I'm gonna fix the plant in a moment. And now I'm just trying to turn. person I mean I enjoy this I don't mind it but it just means that my flat becomes a complete uh, mess ah, there we go now, right now there's like um, soil everywhere anyways okay so I think I think I'm good with this I think I can probably live with this um, yeah okay so obviously this looks much better now in this new home oh, I think I'm done I might pull these off um, but maybe not just yet because as you can see they're drooping and they are about to come off um, but it might need some time to completely come off but there you have it guys, uh, I have done all the chores I needed to this weekend uh, with regards to my plants. Well, I shouldn't say chores, um, should I? Because I actually enjoy doing this. So I will keep you guys posted on how we get on, um, particularly this little guy, or oh, this little big guy. <laughs> um, and yeah, I will see you next time. Bye.